You know, you guys ever get the people who DM you and they're like, I found this super fucking broken build, man. It's so OP. You go Bork into Wit's End into fucking Holebreaker on Kai'Sa. And I was like, what the f I'm like reading it like, this person is so trash at the game that they don't know how terrible they are. So they actually think that they like have this breakthrough. It feels that way in like a lot of a lot of areas in life. Like the people who are really loud and bad are like the most sure of themselves. The uh, Dunning Kruger effect. It's like you don't know what you don't know. Another thing that always happens is like people who are generally wrong and low information or like you know low game knowledge cling on to the time that they were right like they have like all these really bad ideas right but then there'll just be one where it's like i i don't know what the example would be like kale top or like klepto camille or something and like they did it and they're like see i was right about that one thing and it's like dude you did like a thousand random things so you're bound to <laughs> be right on like one random thing that ended up being meta or ended up actually being good something something broken clock there's the one about the monkey and the typewriter that eventually he'll reproduce the work of Shakespeare. How the hell does a Big monkey news. reproduce Shakespeare? Like, given enough time, a monkey sitting at a typewriter will reproduce the entire work of Shakespeare. Just it's gonna take him forever, but it the is- words it is or like the words? like the words in yeah. order? Yeah, like, like, he will reproduce- a spear, because he could probably do that. I mean, it, it would literally take an infinite amount of time, but it would happen. He just well, has to smash the typewriter event. infinite amount of time, dude. Yeah. I don't think that's possible. No, it is. It is possible because he has here. infinite time to smash. Just imagine you're just smashing the fucking no. typewriter. No, even if he was smashing, he would never reproduce it. If if he's smashing, there is a zero percent chance he'd ever. Okay, maybe not smashing, but like just randomly pushing buttons. Even then, though, no. I guess the typewriter would technically break. Okay, there's there's a lot of like uh, there's a lot of little holes in this in this uh, experiment here. I think that's statistically impossible. If we're specifically talking about Shakespeare, look, it's just an idiot. Responding to my chat, yeah, yeah. I mean, you got him, <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really trying huh? to no, debate this seriously. <laughs> Did my chat just well, spewing out like these stupid ass theories about how it would happen? <laughs> how, how, explain to me how it would happen. <laughs> how could it possibly happen? A monkey is not typing fucking words. He's just mashing <laughs> random letters. How does that create Shakespeare? It's not possible. <laughs> Even if it's random monkeys, none of the monkeys are creating English words. Or whatever the fuck. Whatever fucking words they're using. It doesn't matter how many monkeys are doing it, they're not making it. I think the the saying is really... Let me, let me just go look it up. Who the fuck came up with this saying? Monkey typewriter Shakespeare. How am I trolling? How does this make sense to anyone? The infinite monkey theorem states that a monkey hitting keys at random on a typewriter for an infinite amount of time will almost surely type any given text, such as the complete works of William Shakespeare. No. Wait, yeah. So someone in my chat said something about like almost surely. They use that term. In fact, it doesn't the, say definitely will. The monkey would almost sense? surely type every possible finite text an infinite number of times. However, the probability is. How is he going to type so it in tiny. order? If, if, if it's like randomly, random words associated, and then you make Shakespeare out of it, sure. If you're actually creating it in order of the, how the words are word for word, there's zero chance. Dude, it's just how, it's just how infinity works, bro. It's no, just how infinity works. Zero. No, it's not how it works. <laughs> Mathematically? Yeah, he got the whole thing right, and he fucked up one letter at the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> dude, because the way infinity, dude, Steve, do you not understand the concept of infinity? He would create. Yeah, but how do you every... not understand how a monkey is mashing letters? <laughs> <laughs> how, is he not how is he mashing letters in this correct order? <laughs> yeah, one of his fingers are too big and he can only hit the other <laughs> <laughs> The monkey has sausage fingers and he can only press. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God, dude, the best part of co-streaming is just when we talk about random bullshit like the infinite monkey theorem. This is too funny. <laughs> Yo, Sneaky, I would love actually for you to like <laughs> go on a podcast with like a fucking mathematician or something or, or Joe Rogan. The, I don't care. With, with the fucking monkey got a type. With right. the monkey. Yeah. Yeah, dude, prove it. Show me. Show me the monkey that can do it. Oh wait. 
<laughs> Show me a monkey that types it and I'll believe you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We have, like, the ultimate practical person. Sneaky. We have, like... We, we just got a great spread of people here. It's great. Hmm. We've got Doublelift, the smartest man in the world. No, I mean, I'm a dumbass, too. I just... I like watching random YouTube videos about, like, these stupid things that actually have no real-world application. Like, for all intents and purposes, this makes no sense, but, like, it's just interesting to know, like, hear about, I guess. Dude, what if Shakespeare was that monkey? Oh my god, it wait! so much time, he evolved into a person, and then he wrote it. How do we know that Shakespeare was a human? I've never seen one Holy Shakespeare. Holy shit. Holy fuck. He was that monkey. <laughs> he Way too dank. Maybe damn, there's an dude. infinite monkey theorem about League, where, like, given enough time, they'll become, like, Faker. And that's how Faker was mm. born. Jesus Christ. Uzi was just a really lucky monkey. It all makes sense now. Those Zaya feathers? I don't think a human could put those down. <laughs> Monka. <laughs> Good stuff, dude. Really makes you think. Stretches the old noggin. Someone says, Now who's the stupid, Lena? The whole thing right and fucks up the last letter will happen multiple times since there's only 1 in 26 chance to get the last letter right. It's not 1 in 26, though, right? Because, like, there's all the different combinations of punctuation and, like, shift modifiers and shit. Like, it's way less than 1 in 26. But none of those, none of those numbers actually matter because it's an, he has infinite time. He will do it right eventually. You know, Lena was calling me stupid because she said no one likes idioms. But this isn't even an idiom. I actually found a Wikipedia page about it. Dude, if there's a Wikipedia page about it, then it's real. Wait, there apparently was a study in 2002 where they left real monkeys next to a computer keyboard with six crested macaques. I don't know if I pronounced that right. With what? Not only did... Six okay, apparently the macaques? monkeys... What did you say about macaque? <laughs> macaque. <laughs> <laughs> they produce nothing but five pages largely consider consisting of the letter S. <laughs> the lead monkey began striking the keyboard with a stone and the other monkeys followed by soiling it. <laughs> These Holy monkeys shit. are going crazy. They're so close, They're so close. So close to Shakespeare. They're just right there, dude. Right there. They got the first letter right. Shakespeare. <laughs> this is too funny, man. <laughs> Oh How my many times God. does the monkey shit on the typewriter before he fucking gets Shakespeare? Piss and shit on the keyboard instead of typing. <laughs> That'd be great. Dude, I would love... That's how people rage in League. Just like, a gank goes wrong and my top laner just shits on his keyboard and leaves. <laughs> yeah, man, I would love that. I'm not convinced that doesn't already happen. <laughs> I, I, you can't convince games. me, yeah. I feel like my support's just been doing that. Most games. Yeah, I'm I'm fully convinced they do. So my, my chat I donated. <laughs> so say there's 20,000 words in a story, there's only infinite amount of what, or sorry, infinite amount of ways to arrange letters. After one z z z z z z tenth time, the text would line up correctly probably. I just think the logic doesn't make sense because that's assuming it's random, but it's like, it's literally a monkey. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> It's a, it's a monkey. It's not <laughs> random. If it was a computer simulating randomness, I think it would happen. But it's a monkey. <laughs> mm, you think monkey brains aren't smart enough to, to, to do, do it perfectly randomly? I, like, I monkeys actually... only have a certain number of variations in their brain for random letters <laughs> they can type, and none of them are Shakespeare. I, I think it's because it's a monkey, it won't happen. If it was true <laughs> randomness, it would happen. Dude... This like is computer generated too random funny, man. would happen. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but if it's a monkey, it's not gonna happen. I think Sneaky raises a good point, and we gotta go to the guy who came up with this theorem and tell him he's a dumbass. Yep. I got this guy named Zach Scuderi who fucking got you figured out. I actually agree. I, uh, it, I can see the light. True randomness, sure. A monkey, no. Someone said this was written before computers. I found it, guys. I found the picture of Finn. With computers, the monkey would have spell check at least. Is there a monkey on a keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> it's on the Wikipedia page. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, dude, the guy's... I'm being generous. I think, I think a monkey might play the level one better than Finn sometimes.
Dude, I cannot get over the monkey conversation. It's, <laughs> 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 it's, still, it's still going on in my chat, dude. <laughs> I think like our our stream is like almost like dumb and dumber, but it's like we're kind of geniuses too. I mean, I don't. I'm I'm smart, so. Yeah, yeah, of mm. course. <clears throat> the triple monkey theorem. Did you guys have this posted in your chat? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Given enough time, Dublin, Medios, and Sneaky will produce an LCS co stream in which they actually discuss the match. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here a while. <laughs> it's a long time coming. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't. I can't. Dude, this is this is like the best fucking shit in the world. <laughs> the triple monkey. <laughs> the triple monkey theorem is good. Uh, yeah, I like the name. We're getting really deep in the fucking sauce right now. <laughs> like, we're actually coming up with new fucking technology for scientists of the future. The science community owes us. No way he goes in there. Oh that's that's cringe. That's cringe. That's cringe. What? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Okay, Cliss uh, is dead. Bucky wait. Dies. Wait. Anapelius dies. They are all dead. Are Dude, you that combo? It's a dead for sure. Oh my God, Yusui! Please hit it. Okay. He missed the Q. Wait, Core's dead. Oh. No, he has Wait, flash. He has yeah, flash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dead? No. Oh! He, he totally could have hit that. Yeah. Damn, that actually ended up going pretty well for Dig. Wow. Diana Yasuo, guys. I didn't believe. You see with auto afterwards. Shouldn't my god. I go for a fight while Aphelios has this horrible gun combo? Oh my god. Oh my Wait. god. Is this dead? I think he's dead. Oh yeah, yeah. they're getting fucked. They're I getting think fucked. He's gone. Shit. They're getting fucking shit on. I think they're dead. How many are dead here, though, from TL? It feels like all of them. Wow, are you kidding me? Uh, Afro lives? Jensen's fucked. Oh my god, he missed the NATO. Now, Yusui's fucked. Instead. That looked pretty obvious that Yusui's gonna die after the tornado miss. But he kept yeah, going. Those he was too ambitious. horny. Yeah. Oh, Acadian's gonna die instantly. That's... Wow. That's so bad. Dig needs to get out. Out, 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 out. Oh, it's 3v5. It. 3v5. Oh, it's really fucking doomed, though. Wow. Oh, my God. Goodbye, bye -bye. Yasui. Oh. No way. Okay. <sighs> dead. I was saying you should be able to take the lantern as the enemy. That'd be fucking funny. So I'd like to do something for a lantern. I think it's kind of, like, unfair. Ability. Afro did it. Afro did the Q one target and then ult the other. And that's, that's what you need, like... This is oh, so he did like the, the R flash? No, he, far, he just kind of kind of R flash, oh, but with right. his Q, like, oh, oh my oh, God, no oh, way! Acadian twice, twice, man, do it on why Rise. Is he, why is he going for that on Lee? <sighs> I think he was hoping to get Rise as well, but he missed him. Very close on the Rise, at least, but Jensen oh. has flash. They don't have Yasuo all anymore. This is pretty <laughs> fucking troll, isn't it? This looks, looks like a throw. Like it. Oh, never mind. They oh go. my. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. No, not bad. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Jensen has Zonia's oh, here. Are you kidding me, Jensen? You should have Zonia's the not salty. Like you're ki you're joking, man. Like maybe he dies anyways, but. Dude, his team abandoned him. <laughs> yeah. That was five dig members surrounding one golden Jensen. Wait, he didn't have flash, but. Yeah. Oh just... wait, you mean he got flash ulted? Yeah, he got flash ulted. Yeah. Uh -oh. Or is dead again. Damn it. Or is looking pretty rough this game. I'm not gonna lie, oh. guys. And Alfari. Oh, wait. The whole fucking squad. Wait, Core? Here. Oh my god. <laughs> Core. Core almost had a fucking tragedy happen to him right there. Are we gonna I mean, co stream the Pokemon Unite game. tournaments? I'm gonna be playing in them. Oh, okay. True. Did you try you my Bulbasaur? Dude, you're playing oh. low tier trash like Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur is broken. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually never played the game. Whoa! That Glist ulti fucking... Or er, the Nautilus ulti. Oh. Oh. Tactical. Tactical. He has a million but he has the white purple guns. He actually did damage there. Yeah, though. he did big damage. Does it matter? Oh! That Dude, was pretty so much close all of TL guard. is like very unreliable CC. So I think I've, I've mostly seen Viego top with Ignite against Gwen, but... In Oh! Is Yasui oh! in thing? I don't know. It's close. No, he's not. But it's a defense. They can't kill anyone. They can't. They can't end anymore. 
Go back and get the soul, dude. Go back and get the soul. Nah, dude. Go for Baron. Fuck it. In I'm gonna blow my brains out if they don't go soul. Go for Baron. We can get soul after. It's fine. Sure, sure. I can do that too. I'm pretty, pretty <laughs> flexible. I could Let's... honestly switch to anything. Oh my. Wait. Aphelios just Aphelios just died, died insta. Oh my god. Dig is just oh. cleaning up here. GG. GG smile. Gay on the bird. <laughs> Yo guys, I'm gonna sneak it. Keep him busy. <laughs> yeah. Look at them pog champing after the dub. Dude, they should get like sad faces for, for when they lose on their pictures. Yeah. yeah, dude. That's that's what we need. Head down crying. Tears. Sadistic Look fucking viewers. Yeah. Okay, I gotta ask Sneaky because this is gonna be fucking hilarious. Okay, Sneaky, so there's three doors. And behind two doors is a goat, and behind one of them is a car. So you want to pick the one, you want to pick the door where behind it is a car. You have a chance of winning the car. Or, or, what if you want a goat? Or, <laughs> okay, well, in this hypothetical, you don't want the goat, you want the car. So you pick a door, and then the, the person, uh, the host, the game show host, then shows you what's behind one of the other doors. So... Let's say you pick door number one, and he opens another door, like number door number three, and he shows you this one has a goat. And then he asks you, do you want to switch your choice? So between the, between the two remaining doors, there's a goat and a car. And he asks you, do you want to switch your choice? And the, the question is, is it, does it help you to switch your choice? No. Wait, so like... You, you... Still 50-50. You already opened a door. So you like picked you a, door. a door. Yeah, you, cho you chose the door, but you haven't committed and he, and to it. And he shows you one of the doors that's wrong. Yes, he shows you another door. Yeah. And he shows you this one has a goat. And now between, you know, you, you initially picked one, and then there's a, an unknown door, but you know that one of them has a goat, one of them has a car. So is, does it help you to switch your choice? No. My chat saying you should switch. So, <laughs> so actually, how, how it does. It, you actually should always switch your choice. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> You're supposed to switch your choice. I'll, I'll link it to you what, guys. What, what, what do you mean probability theory? How is this any theory? It's just fucking luck. There's literally three doors. You chose one. He shows you one that wasn't right. There's two. Okay? Nothing changes. There's no difference. Those didn't give you any more info. Yeah, yeah, okay, so people are saying, like, you have a 33% chance to get it with three doors, and he shows you one, so you should switch, but, like, he didn't show you the one that you fucking picked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, like, so... <laughs> it's still, it's still a fu like, all that does is tell you, like, if he shows you the goat, all it does is tell you, you're still 50-50 if it was the one you chose or the one you switched to. How does switching help? So switching, <laughs> oh, switching. I, I see the theory. Your first pick is thirty-three percent chance. Removing one makes it fifty-fifty. But it doesn't apply here. That doesn't make sense. That's just not logical. Like, yeah, there's math behind the dumbass logic, but that doesn't <laughs> change anything. That's so stupid. No. No, like if you do go on this game show, you should switch. <laughs> so <laughs> no fucking way. I mean, like you can. I don't think there's anything wrong with switching. Yeah, but like, it, it doesn't, doesn't help you. So, my, I, I agreed with you guys in the beginning. Like, when I first heard this problem, it doesn't make any sense that switching would help you because it's just a 50-50 at the end. But the, the theory behind it is, if you pick the goat initially, you swap to a car. If you pick the car initially, you swap to a goat. No matter what, that's, that, like, in this situation, that's what happens. There's a 66% chance that you pick a goat initially. And there's a 33% chance that you pick a car. So you should always switch. But no, it, like the, the percent didn't change in your favor, because he he cleanses the the thirty three, right? So then it's not like it's just suddenly sixty six percent. It's just it's a straight fifty fifty, no matter what. When he's yeah, opening, he's... opening the okay, okay, okay. Another that I'm reading <laughs> another okay, another another like explanation is there's a hundred. Let's say the same situation with a hundred doors. You pick a door, and the host opens 98 doors. He shows you all 98 of them have a goat, leaving just the one that you picked and one other door. Well, would you switch? Well, yeah, obviously, right? Because there's 99 goats in one car. Wait, why? Because there's why 99 goats in one car, you would switch. Yeah, but you, you already made your choice, and what, why does changing it after seeing the other ones are wrong do anything? 
That's actually a good point. <laughs> wait, um, wait. I, 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 I think you're, wait. I think you're right. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do anything. Like he he's saving you that you're that you're not already fucked, uh, okay, right? Okay, okay. So I think with the hunter one, the, what people are saying is it's like if he, if he's only showing you doors with goats, right? He's like, okay, these ninety eight other doors all have goats. It's like he intentionally left out one other door, right? <laughs> From the ninety eight. Yeah. And so either your one or that other door has the car. And the chance of you hitting the car on your first guess, a shot in the dark, or the one thing being left out being the car, it's more likely the one thing that was left out would be the car. I oh, don't yes. feel like this one works that well when it's like two out of three. But I guess it's the logic of... It's that logic like downscaled super hard. Yeah, I mean, I think when you downscale it, it's weird. This is NA education, boys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's ob it's obviously one of those problems that's like meant to be deceptive. <laughs> I just love how how upset Sneaky gets. It doesn't make sense, bro. <laughs> like, like, I mean, I think when it was first phrased, it's like if if you know he's never gonna show you the car, right? Because it was phrased in a way that was like, okay, he just shows you one other door, right? If he's just showing you one other door at random, then I don't think switching matters, right? I mean, unless obviously he shows you the fucking car, then I think most people would switch to that one. But if it's like he'll show you a goat, he'll show you which one is not the right answer. I think that makes it a little bit different. But how does it? But how does it logically change anything? Like, like you have to disregard the math here, because. It's not a math equation. It's it's like logic, right? Yeah. Cuz if you throw math behind it, then yeah, maybe the sound the math sounds better like, "Oh, you went from a 33% chance to a 50-50. Take the 50-50 thing." It's like, "Well, you're already in the 50-50. You didn't like by you not changing, you're still yeah. in." Yeah. No, I I I I get it. And I think I think when it's just three doors that that is how it seems. I'm still trying to <laughs> think how I, I believe Thinking that this is solved. Actually so the uh, apparently the the answer is that you go from a 33% chance to a 66% chance that you get the car if you switch every time. Well, how you, is it two and three? Because you had a you had a one in three chance of switching from like pick three doors out of three doors. You have a one in three chance of initially picking the car and switching to a goat. And you have a two and three chance of initially picking the goat and switching to the car. Because, but you can't know. It's just it, about it, probability. It's, it's really, I feel like to me, it all hinges on the fact that he has to show you a goat when he opens the door, right? I don't think it changes anything, though. You don't think so? No. Dude, let's. I think what we should do. Like, is for we should do wise. this. We should make a no, video we, where we test this out. It definitely has, like, I can see it more with 100 doors than with yeah. three. Oh, man, dude, we got to do a, a brain teaser just, every day. Is it not just based on feeling at that point, though? Like, whether you chose the right one on the first try or... I mean, it, it's, it's kind of like a probability thing because... I'm, I'm talking like the 100 one, specifically. The 100 one? Well, that one, it's just... that one definitely feels more like, oh, there was not really a chance I was going to get the car. Yeah, and now there's now there's only two, but like on the on the one three, it's like, well, the chance was kind of high anyway of me picking it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a hundred percent a problem that's meant to seem deceptive. Like anyone acting like you're dumb for not getting it is is just trying to be a bully with privileged information, <laughs> no, I, I, knowing I, I, that it's like knowing the fucking so answer key. <laughs> Like, it's definitely not meant to be clear. I've never <laughs> seen my chat be this toxic or funny as when we talk about the monkey and the typewriter or this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you know, Siki, that Lena, it, Lena respects your type of thinking because you're, like, a more way more practical person you're like a very literal person mm -hmm. she heard the monkey thing yeah and she's like that's fucking stupid also lena thinks a lot of things are stupid because like the the figurative part of it is just stupid and i could i could i actually like now understand that like a lot of people are like that he will so never right. open a door and be like yep here's the fucking car do you want to switch <laughs> like he's not so doing that so like your first choice doesn't even matter 
Right. It's just like you have a one in three to get it. And then he shows you you know, this is the wrong answer. Some of your, dude, some of your chatters are saying add me on Discord. They, they want to lecture <laughs> yeah. you. Yo, give me your address. I'm gonna pull up. I'll fucking fight you, dude. I don't care about explaining anymore. I'm gonna fight you, man. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> pull up and fight. I mean, that works too. Whoever wins the well, fist fight okay, is, like, is right. So, in the three monkey theorem, is this when we start talking about the game? Nope. <laughs> fuck you and fuck the game. Oh shit, the game instantly popped up, huh? Wait, TL won the last I feel like we just time traveled like 20 minutes. Media's waiting room. I don't know where the fuck they are, guys. I'm pretty sure they're just playing PoE. Hello. Yeah, I Yo. feel that. Holy shit, Sneaky's here. Sneaky's here. I didn't think you were going to show up, dude. Why? Because <laughs> you were messaging me about PoE 30 minutes ago. You messaged uh, me first. You said, yo, what's up, Aurabot? What position are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm so, he, you're my Aurabot. Double F definitely uh -huh. phrase that like you started the conversation. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Talk about I, I should, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, I, I started the conversation. Like, I, I definitely did. <laughs> I'm just saying that Sneaky was awake 30 minutes ago, and he didn't show up until now. Uh, yeah. Are you are you gonna keep raiding with us, or are you gonna abandon us like last time? Ooh. Oh, you mean? <laughs> Guys, is there just a four v four, including supports? Both oh. both supports are here for the raids, guys. <laughs> now that's what you want to see. That's pretty wild. Damn. Yeah. Like she never gets banned. Ooh. This is sketchy. This is sketchy. Oh my god. Yeah, Those like. Are chunked. Like, That's a pretty greedy trade by C9, isn't it? Like the way yeah, it's coming in. You know yeah, it's, it's really greedy. There. They still have to back off here. Like, even though they got a better trade, it was better for FBI. Like, he would rather ha be 1 HP and then be half than then be like 80%, and, and then they wouldn't be dive worthy. Yeah, they're very diveable now. Oh, that feels so rough. bad for Sven because it's a cannon wave, so he ends up losing the cannon XP. Oh no, you uh -oh. can't go back. You can't. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, it's so it's so bad now. And I think Sven's just dead too. Yeah, right no, there. he's fucked. He's fucked. Oh, he has Blabber coming, but he's too far. No. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, Blabber's just going for the overplay. Actually, dead. he has No, it. he has it. He has yeah. it. I think they get some kills here. It's, it's not oh. even that good, but oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That was pretty smooth. I like that. It's cool. It's like Draven. I don't know, a lot of times though, Jin just tickles the shit. Oh my god, Abadage got dead. Abadage. Abadage like misclicked. He like was moving away and then he I think he wanted to take the cone and he misclicked and ran back. Do you think he could have got that out? He looks pretty fucked to me. Yeah, maybe he was fucked either way, yeah. It's the classic NA, we start Baron when all ten players are alive and then they find us and we walk away. Maybe they forget about us and they give yeah. us Baron. Yeah. yeah. They're standing right there. I think it's forty or fifty. Oh years. my god, he hit FBI? What? Dead. Holy FB no Baker? fucking way. That was blind. <laughs> that was like a lollipop, like fucking, like through who he's asshole and into FBI. Like, it made no sense. I want to watch it again. I, mean, I just, I, I don't hate this Baron start. Like, this is one oh, of the better good. situations you can get. It's, it's great. Uh -oh. I think you just flip Ooh. it though. Like, I, yeah. D I don't think. Don't be a pussy. Don't be just, a pussy. I think you actually flip you it. Flip. And if they get the Baron, whatever. You just. Yeah. It's not easy to secure here, but like against the Blanc leap. Oh, closer's dying. Ooh. Oh my God! If Wait, Fudge just just. Killing everyone. 1v4. Did? Jesus. Lee Sin Wins? Died. Balanced, I think. So Lee Sin had kick there. He definitely didn't think he needed to kick. Like, that's such a big misplay by Closer. He has kick flash. He totally could have killed Gwen. It was 1v4. Yeah, like, I, it's probably the case he was just focused on Baron and then yeah. he didn't expect to just get fucking blown up. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Middle snippy. Let's see it. Also, he may have felt like sometimes when you have sterics. Okay, let's see what happened. This is so crazy that this hits. Dude, what? <laughs> that shit was a straight up guess. Yeah. Yeah. That was fucking nuts. It was a good guess. I mean, we fighting. Oh, it's it's surreal does it's surreal does gaming. Ooh, it actually is good. Yeah. Closer in trouble. Wow, look at FBI's damage. I didn't quite see. Uh oh. Oh, FBI's. Oh. Look at FBI's Ooh, baiting. Stop, stop that was great. Oh my god. Yeah, right, wait, it's fat ass C9 throw. Holy shit. Holy yeah. fuck, they didn't have fudge for that. And then, oh my god, FBI has to flash. 
What? Why? Why would you? Do no way. No way. They really? just put the replay up. Are you serious? Really? That was giga cringe. What? Died in the ulti animation. He couldn't zone yous. RPI lost his flash. Yeah, he lost his flash. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Loser's looking for the angle. Can he find it? He FBI gets one? ulted. I like the ulti uh -oh, in reaction. Blabber just going in. I like this. Ooh. Get him, Blabber. No, oh, it's he has, he has GA. True. FBI got GA'd. Can they protect him here? No. No, they can't. Shit. No one could block oh, for him. Shit. Oh, shit. Loser stopwatched? Dude, what did he stopwatch? He stopwatched the, the Callista ulti. <laughs> yeah, but then it hit a failure. Yeah. But maybe it would have bounced on both. Uh, yeah, I think it would have knocked both, unfortunately. Yeah. Wow, perks. Oh, perks? Oh, wow, shit. perks? Wait. That was what? not a human play. Wait, what did he do? He E, e Gale, Gale Force, Force in. in and got himself butt fucked. Oh, wow. And that's again without did his top. Did he just lose the game off that? Check no it. way. I, I don't know, dude. Like, You think they can on, end? I'm fucking sweating. I, I think they can threaten it. I think CI is gonna have to take a really horrible fight to try to hold on to their base here. Actually, I, if they get a so. kill I'm, here on the defense, defense, I'm going for the end here. Yeah, no, you're right. Actually, like they could, they could farm the enemy team in. Oh, someday. Oh, someday getting Giga oh, caught has stopwatch flashes out. Wow, oh, everyone's boy. getting okay, wiped. Oh. Turbo throwing. Yeah. Turbo throwing. The fudge. The fudge. The fudge. Yeah, this should be. GG. Yeah. C9 can oh take no! This game. Uh oh! oh shit. Someday Prix is kind of caught. in a weird spot here. Yeah, Prix is not hitting anything, but who he's but, dead. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Uh oh. It's CG. GG. Oh, that calling wasn't when? looking at 2OP. Gwen is <laughs> Gwen is so crazy. Like, she's just frontline tanking everything Ooh. and un oh wow, Abadaga. Abba Faker. Oh. Damn, Blabber had a pretty nice Volo Bear game. Did he? I think yeah. it was okay. I think everyone had a, just an okay game and Fudge just scaled with Gwen. I mean, I was watching the way Blabber played fights. That was pretty oh, good. Oh, like, yeah, like it wasn't playing yeah. it necessarily bad. It wasn't like a pop-off game or anything. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a 1v9, but I thought he did his job pretty well. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? What just happened? Did my chat see that? I bought pink wards while I had full inventory and, and they dropped on the ground. But now I can't do it anymore. What really? the hell? My my everyone on my stream saw that. Like that was so weird. Yeah, it's it's locked down for me too. I can't do it anymore. That was so weird. Maybe you did it too quick. No, like I can't even reproduce it. Yeah, I, I I did it as I loaded into the game. Maybe it's only possible. What is this? Come up and Woohoo! What the fuck? What? Yeah, the ulti the ulti looks insane, dude. What the fuck? This is looks the range? so sick. The range You're is just like channeling cable. it? Storing up to seven bullets, and then you recast it. But you can you can cast it early. It does so much damage, dude. It does 3k damage. I mean, obviously I'm zero armor at target, but like, wow, the camouflage is so sick. They initially said he's like a mid laner because this W is kind of useless for bot lane, right? Comparatively to like a mid laner roaming with the W. Yeah. Because the W is legit negative combat ability. It doesn't do anything. How do you spin around something forever? It's not forever. Like, go to the inhib and then just. Oh, it's not get forever, yeah. Close, yeah, yeah. Click. Full circles. Wait, do the bot lane skip. The bot lane skip any percent? I guess. Oh, Maybe. I actually got hit at the end. I'm sad. Oh, it's not that hard. Yeah. It's really actually it's actually is. so crazy that you're like technically in the you're like technically in the range but you're not actually getting hit. Yeah, you're like borderline. Oh wait, I'm actually just getting hit for no reason. There we go. I don't know what the trick is to get it 100% consistent. Yeah, you can do it mid too. Like on the left of the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I don't understand why I'm getting canceled sometimes and sometimes I'm not. You have to actually have decently Ooh. perfect timing on mid. Wait, dude, you can... Like, you know how you can not take a shot between the turrets? Yeah. Like, if you swing, you, like, go gigafast and jump to the turrets. No shot. 
it might have to be in the right spot though. This champ looks to fucking too. so cool. Yeah, and every time you get a kill, you reset. Oh, I, I keep I keep clicking it too early. I think that's probably gonna be something that people mis mistake a lot or like do a lot. Wait, do you see the W scaling by the way? Holy shit! What is it? Cooldown goes to two seconds. Yeah. What the fuck? That's insane. Zero mana cost, two second cooldown. I can only I can only it dodge the turret hit. one direction. I can only do it like one, like from bot to top, but I can't do it from top to bot. Like, you know. <laughs> Wait, dude, go, go to bot lane. Uh huh. And swing around the like, the bot lane wall, blue side. Oh. Wow. This is yeah, so nuts. broken. <laughs> this is so broken. It's so much mobility. Wow. That is insane. It really is. You should do it max range to get the max like speed and distance of and anything. That's one thing that's yeah. gonna like fuck with people a lot. The range is actually longer than the indicator says. Yeah. Weird. Oh my god, wait, I found another crazy angle. And try to go to like the river brush. Whoa. Whoa, it's this so one is fast. insane. It's this so one is quick. insane. You can go so fast into fucking Wow. Yeah. Fuck. Dude, this champ is gonna piss people off so much when people when you die like this. Just like you're chilling in the bush and all of a sudden he just comes <laughs> out and fucking shits it on just you. Swings in. <laughs> it's legit so fast. Did you know you can swing while you're while you're ulting? Uh, so like channel yet. channel your ulti and start swinging somewhere. Like this is how you're supposed to use it, I'm pretty sure. Like do do the swing, do the swing that you're do talking about into tribush, but like channel your ulti the whole time. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. You're actually Holy fucking moly. Tarzan. <laughs> oh shit. Like you know the the weird thing with like the move speed, right? It's like if you cancel a second shot, you get move speed instead. Try to not move quickly, like just attack. Okay. You go boom, boom. Oh, I see. You but hit like, twice. If you, if you regular auto cancel, yeah. like, you know, orb walk, like you don't even get the second auto at all. The second auto is like not hitting the same target as my first auto. Oh yeah, what the fuck? It. Is it random? He will fire an additional closest shot. Target? Huh. No, it's not closest target. Wait. Oh wait, I think it's champ target priority is why. I have two dummies and it's like going to the closer dummy. Oh wait. What? Okay, now it's not. Yeah, I think it's random. What? It's literally random. I think it's literally random. What a terrible mechanic. Why would why would they put an auto attack that's random? <laughs> Wait, put two dummies next to each other and he just cycles between autoing both. Yeah. I don't understand it's why it's like this. Well, sure. maybe it's weird because they're all low HP for me. No, it's not low HP, chat. You fucking liars. It's literally targeting a full HP dummy. Over the one HP dummy. This is so this cool, is man. I actually this champ this champ feels so fun to play. I'm I'm sold. They got me. Did you guys already talk about EG playing contracts instead of Sven? Nope. We've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. We've been playing Akshan. Which chat says it's pronounced Akshan. 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 I am not saying that. I'm saying action. <laughs> Wait, say surreal does. Cerita's. Cerita's. Cerita's action. <laughs> action is actually such a good name for a spelling. Yeah, it is. Action. It's like they meant it to be said that way. Yeah, they really did. Like, his, he is, he plays like a fucking action hero. He, like, swings in with his boomerang, like, fucking shooting you with his ulti while he's boomeranging in or grappling in. <laughs> so cool. Yep. And reviving all of his teammates. What's the chance that just gets taken out of the game at some point? Because they realize it's a fucked up mechanic. I, I'll have to see it first. Like, it sounds fucked up, but not yeah. sure how crazy it really is. I feel like it's one of those things that's it's not going to become apparent for a while. Because people need to learn how to play the champion first. I agree. Yeah, it's, like everyone starts like digging it's something that right is now. sleeper OP, and it's particularly strong in competitive play where, like, Big team fights matter 
I mean, they matter in solo queue too, but like, you can realistically like get trade kills. You can play to get trade kills in competitive. Like you can coordinate around your teammates. Like, I'm gonna int, but like if you if you trade kill me, you know, like I'll die for this. But if you trade kill me, I'll I'll res and TP back in. Like that's actually yeah, like, something you can do. You'd have to know that that person specifically will kill you, and they're low enough to die, because it's three seconds, and it has to be the person that kills them. Oh, it has to be the guy that gets the killing blow on your teammate to res them? I think so, yeah. I thought they just had to assist in killing your teammate. That could be No, right. I think it's like you can assist on killing that person. But, oh, but I see. I, but, I, but I think it's the person that literally gets the kill. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm that just it. seems like such a fucking high reward for getting a kill. Like, how much health does your teammate come back with? Are they at like 1 HP or what? I think it's full. Like a normal what res. What the hell? It, they're just revived. I'm just gonna read it. They come back I can't in the fountain. Anybody. Yeah, it's fountain. Oh, they come back in. Oh, that makes it. Yeah, because like they're... as OP as I thought. I thought they came back. Like, they came back on body. their dead body. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be oh my insane. god! You're like, you're like zombie res. Yeah, okay, like so. That's not as insane. It's still pretty crazy, but definitely not as much as I had thought. I, okay, yeah. If it was corpse res back into a team fight, that's just. That's not balanced. <laughs> yeah, that would be fucking stupid. <laughs> but that's yeah. what I thought it was. Okay, yeah. That's so I, funny. I mean, okay. I saw the preview. Like, the preview showed them popping up I, in the fountain. I, I see what it is. So, it it marks... If an enemy champion kills one of your teammates, they're marked as a scoundrel for for a minute. All you have to do is score a takedown against them. So, yeah, you can get... Like, like you said, you can get the kill or the assist against the scoundrel. Um... Within three seconds of damaging them, so you just have to make sure that you kill them, you hit them three seconds before that they die. You get a hundred extra gold. It removes all the marks from the enemies, so that you can't have like multiple scoundrel takedowns. They res like multiple people. So it's just the most recent kill, or no? It's I think there can be multiple scoundrels at once, right? But when you kill one, it removes all the it other marks. The rest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I guess maximum, you're probably going to be in a real normal situation. You're going to probably like get one, one kill. Yeah, res one guy, and then you're probably not going to... No one else is going to, like, die and then get another scoundrel thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's... I don't know. It, it still seems like a super unnecessary mechanic. Like, it seems incredibly snowball -y, but I, I guess we'll see it. It's If yeah. it's not in combat... Like, they spawn in the actual fight. It's not as big of a deal, but still pretty weird. Dude, do you think... Really see why they put Do you think in competitive you're going to hear your teammates say, Res me, res me, res me! <laughs> res me! Yo, just res kill him, dude! Just kill him, res me! Wait, just you guys playing fucking Airy Lucian? That's cringe. I mean, Airy does, I, I the, Airy does okay damage, and I think it's really good in lane. So, if, if Airy is going to make the difference in, like, smashing lane or not, then... I'm okay with it. I just think it's better scaling to have PTA against two tanks. A lot. Mm -hmm. Died a lot of shit. He shouldn't, but he'll be used to that right. airy. I, I I think I could I could believe it because Jizuke is great mechanically, and he does he is the kind of guy who plays every game to smash his lane. Like he's not the kind of guy to be like I'm scaling. Yeah, definitely. I I, I respect it. Well, the W poke with airy looks really brutal. Yeah. Just because I didn't know Diana was on the crab. <laughs> yeah. This is this is kill. Ignar's dead. Ignar's dead. Ignar's yeah. very dead. I think Ignar's dead here. Oh. Oh wait. Wait what? Lost, Lost just. Lost just is Lost. actually Lost. what? Huh? No, Lost. actually, Lost. what was that? Like, why would you walk in there? Like, you literally just got the two v two. Did he miss the lantern? <laughs> I think he missed like lantern, yeah. And then he didn't flash. I don't know. They're not... Looking at this mid CS is pretty interesting. Like Power of Evil is down like a solid amount. Dude, Jizuke is cracked. That ulti was really shit though. Unfortunately. <laughs> I just like a hard to fuck up on champ. But a really good Ziggs is. What is oh! going? Did he just did he just walk up and fucking up smash, <laughs> down smash was, the drag? Uh... That was not very well played by Ichi. It seems like they had no idea that was even a possibility. Yeah, and, and on the same side, like Lost is literally just destroying the turret on the other side of the map. So that was uh -oh. all that happened 4v5. Ziggs flank. 
Wait, yeah, it's, no, it, it was like it was Impact. Oh, it's canceled. PG is super no, no, okay canceled. with. Oh, oh, you're right. It got canceled. Oh, no, it's not a kill. Just a small chunk. Wow, it oh. is a kill. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? he kind of like gave him that range though, no? Yeah, but Syndra really kills like that, by the way, with no items. That was so big. Yeah. Oh, it, this could be kill. Protobot gives him so much move speed. Yeah, 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 it's kill. Bye-bye. But TP Wait. coming in, 1v4, is it good? The Immortal Lee Sin? The Immortal Lee Sin. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah, it's good. good. Oh, oh, Ignar is nipping. Oh, him. no. Yeah, Ignar That is. is so tragic for EG. Take that every time. Oh, shit. Oh, well played. I like- Haley's actually one of the only Cinders who will uh, not run face rush. He's one of the only people that will go electrocute, which- Big damage, bro. Yeah, I, I don't think it's bad, because I feel like Phase Rush Syndra sucks dick, because you don't do any damage, so Electrocute helps with that, but I still think the champion's kind of bad in general. Here, it could be... Wow. Wow, really? That is fuck. And no flash? Again, no time. flash and getting caught, but like, uh, that was... That was so explosive, and it was like 4v5. Yeah. Jizuke wasn't even there. I guess Huni that might not have just... been there yet either. I guess I'm just going for the fucking Dragon Rush. This looks a little... Risky. Oh, they get it though. They get contracts it. is hooked. The contracts oh. hooked. Uh oh, losses a billion chakras. Oh. It's oh, looking. Shit. Wait, Zigzol. Oh no. It's a fat whip. Oh, oh no. Oh my. Did God. you see God. lost damage there? Yeah. Holy shit. Ow. Oh, wait, that Danny? That's so funny seeing all the chakras just uh -oh. one by one funnel in to Ignar's asshole. Oh, impact? Good hook. Impact's fucked. Impact's fucked. He got canceled twice on his dash. Wow. EG's getting fucked here. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're making a play on Jizuke here. TP, 3v1. Ooh. He can make it out with Flash. He can make it out. Maybe? Mm. He's playing this pretty well. Ooh. He's he being a pretty hot dad right oh. now. Uh oh. I, I think he did pretty much all he could there. Yeah, he yeah, did. yeah, yeah. Impact's dead now, too. I think, I think. Oh, he's dead. Oh. He has flash. flash. She has Flash. She has Flash. Wait. What the fuck? That was an incredibly <laughs> There's no way you flashed in there, PoE. You're actually trolling. If you stayed alive, your team gets buried shot. there. Oh <laughs> my god. Contracts on the side. Just have to fight, bro. Oh. oh. They're getting peeled. Oh okay. my god. Oh my and god. Danny saves it. it. Holy shit. They just kite. And EG they, gets out with the dragon. They can't, yeah, they came and chase. Good they defense by EG. They could probably burn. Are they really it's getting it? Oh my god. They're destroying it's dead. Yeah. Diana it's does do a ton dead. of damage. Wow. Dots that hook. Okay. Oh, Huni went in. Huni's in there. Huni's G8. That's so bad. Yikes. Damn, TSM just can't clear, dude. EG's just fucking them. Wait, look at this triple cannon bot lane. Holy fuck. Yeah, I think it's just the thickest Baron wave oh. of all oh. time. Huni, good initiate. Look oh at the god. counter look at by Diana. Diana. Killed everyone. Yeah, Contracts is 1v9. Danny too. Danny! I'm starting to think Diana is like a powerful jungler in this meta. I don't know. No, I, I don't think so, dude. Actually, Diana is yeah, garbage. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think about. we should just open it every game. Pretty strong. I think Spika knows how strong Diana is. He's definitely trying something with the Mundo jungle and at least in double flex. Oh. I'm not convinced, dude. This whole split, nobody seems to give any fucks about Diana. No, you're yeah. right, you're right. Diana is It's gonna so take crazy. it to a playoffs for teams to be like, oh fuck, we actually need to win. Let's just not keep giving her. Uh, closing thoughts on contracts this game? We don't even need to compare him to Sven, but like, I think he did great. Oh, he had a ton of great engages in pick. Yeah, they were like repeat killing PUE, and a lot of that was contracts. Even that last fight where he just goes in 1v4 pretty fearless for the counter engage. Oh, well yeah. Well played. I mean, he had to. Yeah. It's a good decision. I think when Malphite ults to Zac, because it's a rock and then Zac is a blob, he's just get absorbed into Zac. The game Dude. needs more lore mechanics like that. Uh huh. Like when you play Rengar, there's a quest to kill Kha'Zix. Like, Zac's quest should be to get Malphite to ult you. You could definitely be a game designer. That's what League of Legends is missing. Here's another one. I know Riot's One's listening. Caitlyn's W is called Yordle Snap Trap. So if a Yordle walks into her trap, they take 10 times damage and instantly they die. They just die. Yeah. Instantly. Yeah. Jesus. I don't know why they're not hiring me, guys. They shouldn't have named it Gordle Snap Trap for nothing. It, so like it, it would be kind of fun if they put more like champion specific mechanics like that against each other, but I think it probably becomes a balancing nightmare and would make some really 
Oh, dude, it's, it's horrible. When 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 Rengar could like, or sorry, when Kha'Zix gets another evolution from killing Rengar, is that still in the game? By the way, it's not right. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. I think those are fun. Or like. Yeah, I think those are. What, what are cool. the fucking Freljord ones? It's like Ash, Lissandra, Sijuani. Like I know they can grow around too, if they right? kill each other, but do they get any like stats? Yeah, I I have no idea. The Thresh Lucian Senna one's pretty fucking hilarious too. Um, if they're against each other, like Thresh against either Lucian or Senna or both, they get the quest, and then if they kill the other one, they get like a portion of their passive. Like Lucian would get a portion of Thresh's passive, Senna would get a portion of Thresh's passive, or Thresh would get some of Senna's passive. Is that really in the game? Yeah, huh. it's a quest. I don't know when it starts, but it's like. I thought he like just got game. more souls. No, you Not get like some of like her souls. Like they get each other's passive. souls. I don't know yeah. if you take it. I don't think you take it from them. Like they lose it, but you gain it. And when a chest says after a hundred stacks is when the quest starts. Like I guess if both of them have a hundred. Senna needs a hundred souls and to kill Thresh. That's what I read to you. So it's like mm -hmm. both both goes one way. It's one hundred souls for each. Bye bye. Have fun. When are you coming back? Uh, I mean, I'll just be here. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. Okay, thanks, Medias. Appreciate that, dude. I'm, I'm just happy that you're here for me. Of course. Oh, Jensen just missed the fucking cannon with our Wait, is it kill? Is it kill? Wait, did he? Whoa! I don't think it's a kill. Oh, it was one more auto. Oh. Alfari has no flash and he's getting three manned. I don't know why he's playing like this if that's the case. I can't. Hold on. He has no Q here. Ignite, ignite! Wait. Ignite, ignite! Wait. Oh, he got triumph! Aww. Holy shit, he got so much health back. Yeah, he got Triumph. Alfari playing like it an- Set's region when he's low is fucking nuts. Dude, I think Set would have died if Alfari just ignited in the beginning though, no? In the very, very beginning of the trade, because he had five full seconds of ignite ticking down, and it would have stopped like a lot of Set's yeah, regen. Yeah, might have, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Definitely I mean- would have went better than what he did. Alfari's playing like an idiot though. Like, he no flash, and he's just getting baited to go in there. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, that does seem to be how a lot of people play their lane, like, you know, Jizuke, etc. It's just like, yeah, I'll probably die to a gank, but if I don't I get buy. ganked, you're totally It's fine. not a kill, is it? No way this is a kill. I oh. don't think it's a kill. I guess Camille's abilities are down, huh? Yeah. Rumble's coming up. Yeah. This kind of thing, if you can also take Rumble's camps on this side of the map, it's oh! so fucking good. Okay, Kumo's doomed. Holy shit. Kumo's doomed. single-handedly losing the game right now. I mean, what, do you what see you what's supposed, happening to dude. him? He's actually just getting fucking perma proxy. Like, I don't. I feel bad for him. So he he already TP'd back. Before yeah, he he, he did. He, he lost his lane individually. Oh. Jensen. Oh, nice. Very that nice. Was close. Really? Yeah. It kind of looked like he didn't have mana for that Q, but fucking, I really. This is like 20 mana. Oh. Diamond's gonna kill. Diamond's gonna kill. Yeah, he's dead. Wait. <gasps> There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I might be a second behind you guys. I'm gonna speed up. So, so actually, one one kind of like tip for AD carries to play better against Leo is even if you have cleanse, once she ease, if she hits her E on you, like you're gonna get fucked anyway. Like right here, he gets stunned, he cleanses, and then what happens after, right? Like you have to think about what happens after because Leo can follow you. Leo can follow you forever, even if you flash. So. Where's the tip? Uh, oh, the tip is that uh, you have to play like a mega <laughs> pussy against Leo even if you have cleanse. Okay. <laughs> Just don't get hit forehead. So here's the tip. Uh, yeah, Leo fucks you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Even if you cleanse, you're still boned. Taken out. Meanwhile, Gwen survives nerfs for like two <laughs> patches in a row. It makes no sense. Oh, oh, he just barely missed the angle, but they still get him. Monk. This game is actually yeah, so fucked. It's so fucked. Nah, it's it's completely over. It's... Nobody's gonna be able to go remotely near Camille on a Alfari side. Alfari is. can just play around him. Alfari is like a mad scientist for dying to that one v three and and like it being okay for him, or is he just like that much better? I don't know. Getting the perfect situation anyway. Uh oh. Oh, the lantern. Oh, a Jensen should have went in there. Oh shit. Oh no. That's awkward. Uh -oh. That looks super weird. He like his Q followed the lantern kind of. Yeah. Yeah, he shouldn't have taken it. That was crazy. He My chat's talking about like or trying to like downplay Alfari shitting on top because he got all the resources, but 
A worse player does way less with the same resources. So what happened is Alfari blew Top's TP by himself, and then he managed his wave so that it was proxyable for Armeo when he went up there by himself. And then when finally Armeo did get there, it was a no flash, no TP set who was under leveled. That was like without any resources, and actually Alfari did get ganked by the enemy team. So you could say that he got actually pressured yeah, himself. So the the thing I, I would look at as well is um like the mid lane situation actually did help Alfari, but it's not like he really got resources, right? But like Jensen generated enough pressure in the 1v1 to make Rumble show mid, right? Like Rumble stopped doing his route, which would end top lane. And so that is like, you know, Jensen getting his lane advantage, even though he didn't directly benefit from it, it did help the team because to make Rumble waste his time and let Gragas get that top grab. The changes made her much better at team fighting. She's not just a pure Look liability. at his damage. Look at his damage. What is going on? Is this real? Wow. He didn't even ignite. He still has ignite, but it's 1v3. He's not going to win. This is actually... This is trolling. He's going to give a death. big... They give this to triple. That's really... Wait. He's almost winning. That Gale? That Gale saved triple. He Galed out of the W that would have killed him. And I would at least rather see them like try to pressure another area and... Wait a minute. Hello? Oh, the ward was too late. It doesn't matter though. It's still, it's still really good. It's still really, really good. Armeo? Nice! Ooh, that was a That dirty was ult. big. They both had flash. I, it was from Fog, so they yeah. didn't have time to react. But they had a ward over. Look at that ward on the left side. They totally knew that Gragas could be there. Uh-oh. I might have gotten too high on the FlyQuest stocks. That's kind of what I thought when everyone was hyping on. Like, yes, they've won some games. They were pretty impressive in those games, but it wasn't a big enough sample size. Like, it seems pretty clear Kumo is... Weak Not yet. quite on the level of most LCS top laners. Yeah, he's a weak link. And they've also, in interviews, credited like Kumo and Diamond are their shot callers. So I imagine when they're winning, it's a lot easier to shot call. But if you're just getting completely fucking railed, your comms aren't going to help too much. I think Kumo's shot calling this game was incredible. I can't farm, I can't farm, I can't farm. Uh, I can't walk to my turret. I'm getting proxy, getting I'm getting dirt. Shit on. Yeah. <laughs> help! I need help. Oh, what Jensen hell? getting yeeted. Jensen, Holy Jensen just so is tanky. unkillable. He's so tanky. Uh, okay. That W is insane. Sure, man. Is this a penna? Holy no fuck, way. it's almost penna. Almost penna, almost though. Penna. Yeah. I think we're seeing why Aurelia gets banned so much. It's In the middle talent. of five people under tower, tanks the whole... I mean, dude, her, the W values are fucking comically high. It's like 80% physical damage reduction, like... 40% yeah. magic damage. I love that he just keeps going in. He got yeah. so high off his quad. <laughs> <laughs> when you play Valorant and you get a 4K and then and then you start getting super, give me the A's, give me the A's, give me the A's. And then you like run in and die. And then the guy starts clutching at 1v5 and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, guys, been... focus up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ionia still stands. Misses all. <laughs> Jensen just takes Remember no damage. The Lucidium. <laughs> Remember these nuts. Oh. Don't tell me you forgot the Placidium, dude. What is the Placidium? Can dude, are you explain? fucking for real? <laughs> How do you not remember? It's so important. You're a pro player and you don't even remember it. Wow, that W did like 2k true damage. Murdered. Uh, or like 1k. Oh. Or like 800. Or like 800. Or like, 800. or like 100. I don't know if it's endable anymore. It's four people alive, I think Jensen's trolling. Uh oh. I think Liquid needs to run it down here. It's the only way to Wait. progress this game. Suddenly took no damage. Wow, Ooh. another 800 damage Q. Double 850s. Dude, yeah. Kumo got so much true damage in this last minute of the game. That shit was fucking <laughs> hilarious. No wonder Mathematically Correct Set is a weak side champ, guys. You can just go down 2,000 gold. Dude, was really weak side this game. This was one of the weakest <laughs> sides of all time. He was on the fucking toilet bowl all game long. It was big Sag for Kumo. Let's pour one out for Kumo. They've, well, they've think, been bad um, since Season 6, though. Yeah, Ever since they lost that double lift guy. It's been a while. They have been bad for pretty They long. popped but, off I mean, with there, six. There was definitely one time where they were close. They got like fourth-ish. Just 
every team that loses double lift just is never the same. Yeah, I mean, what can I say, guys? Nah, mm -hmm. it, it's just unlucky for them. Unlucky that they made terrible decisions. No sneaky, no worlds. PLG. You know the rest. Guys, if you subbed in for Silgy right now, could you pull both of you at once? No. Could you pull them out of 10th place? No, they're fucked. If I had to play AD carry for Finn, I would fucking blow my brains out. Well, what's funny is that CLG actually contacted me last year after my, like, my time on 100 Thieves, and th they were like, yo, we really need to make playoffs. Can you do it? And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> well, like, for summer? Yeah, yeah, like at the end of summer. I was actually contacted. By oh, them. wait, end of summer? Yeah. I mean, you guys are only humans, not miracle workers. Jesus. Yeah, that, that's why I said I was like, mm, a chance to play LCS is cool, but, like, I think it's going to tank the fuck out of my stonks to do this one, like... Seems like very low chance of working out. I think it's Meteos to the moon right now. Let's go, Meteos. Yay. They're gonna try what, to what, is, what is up with the Kha'Zix pick? Are you fucking trolling, Broxa? Yeah, I don't know about Kha'Zix. I don't think Kha'Zix fits Broxa's playstyle very well. Kha'Zix is like... You have to play him like a total psychopath 1v9er, right? Yeah, but... Broxa is generally Whoa. like the team player, like kind of supporty. Yeah, I mean, the thing about Kha'Zix that doesn't really fit Broxa's playstyle is that he does damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but like, look how slow this Kha'Zix clear is. Like, I don't see how you pressure anything when you're just getting yourself... Oh! <laughs> oh, oh my god, Finn! Oh my Goodbye, god! Finn. No! Finn no, started Finn. that fight, too. Finn. No, dude. Every time we watch Finn, it's just a fucking... I'm telling you guys. Finn is not a fucking human player. He's actually a bot that's been programmed to, like, look really attractive, but actually yeah. is, like, AI learning the game. Do it, Broxa. Flash in. No balls. Is Broxa supposed to be level 4 at 6 minutes? Mm. how the matchup goes. Oh, Chime's getting hit. He, he oh. did get his uh, Raptors taken. Oh. Demonte dies for... Oh, he got Triumph? Why does he have Triumph on Rise? No, wait, it was Time Warp. It was Time Warp. Time warp. <gasps> yeah. Oh, shit. I almost fucking freaked out because he flashed into turret to get ignited and die. Yeah. But it worked out. It did. It's Tanner time, baby. Broxa is on the board. One whole kill. I think it made the game <clears throat> way cooler. Big dive. Oh, oh nice. Oh, wow. Really there. nice start by Smoothie. And, and too early on the Callista ulti, but Broxa dies here. Broxa dies. Hi. Goodbye. Weird that he... Head. Small nitpick. Weird that he flashed when he could have just eat over the wall. Why did he flash? Is his E not... Um, Maybe it's he, too fat? He, yeah, the, the part of the wall he was on may have been too fat. That was fun. <laughs> At least there's action. There. <laughs> no, he's, he's disabled this week. Oh, true, true. He comes out later. Uh, always the dad. Always the hot dad. Oh, uh -oh. Pearl getting jumped. Might be too tanky though. Uh, Might looking pretty not dead. Be tanky enough. That was where he like ran. Did back Turtle? In did Turtle literally right just on. lose his fucking hands? I want to. I want everyone to rewatch how he played that. Where he like, I don't even know. It looked like he canceled his auto, but he's playing Callista, so it's physically impossible. I think I would rather play Amogus than watch this game. Ooh, Iconic is walking really far up for fun. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks like an ulti angle. Beautiful. That bye bye. Full disrespect by Golden Guardians oh. there. That was... Wow. That change you see on 6A was ridiculous. Oh, I hope they... Holy shit. They're wasting... Th and th now they're gonna do it? Now? After waiting that long? They're wasting so much time. This is quite fucking weird. And Dem their highest Baron Deeps isn't hitting Baron either. Yeah. They just finish it. Like, the, the, I mean, they're wasting so much fucking time. Okay, it's gonna die now. Oh man, if it got stolen somehow, that would have been. Oh my god, resets for licorice. Should be fine. Wait. He's a level 8 Rakan. He's a level 8 Rakan, boys. <laughs> yeah. That's why Smoothie's so weak. He doesn't want to give licorice a good fucking alt. That's so think... smart. Plus little 20 something AD. Uh, oh, shit. Is Chime, Chime smurfing? I think Chime Turtle is smurfing. Hit. He is, yay. How is Turtle in and the middle of their whole team and just not dead? 
Turtle was so caught out there, but he's just actually fucking tank. The, the unmissed Oh, move. Broxa with the solo kill. <laughs> the unmissed actually W. actually pretty nutty on this Kha'Zix. Yeah. TLG is putting on a oh. fucking clinic here. Where There's is he only going? one word that I can use to describe Silgy's gameplay and this game in general, and it is poggers. It's so poggers. <laughs> uh, Demontes. Going down. Flashing away. Dead, He's chilling. Yeah. I didn't Wait. think it was possible to play a perfect game of League of Legends, but that is what we're seeing here. <laughs> oh, smoothie? Oh, oh, yeah, bitch. Oh! Oh my god, he almost insta-died. Oh. Hold up. CLG oh. actually oh. throwing the shit out the game. Oh, turtle! <gasps> Never mind, Broxa. Too powerful. E e e oh! Oh. oh my god. And CLG managed to fuck that one up. They Damn. got the soul though, boys. Yeah. True. But Silji has Gwen, so oh. that's like five Zonias all at once. Chime is Monte gone. Didn't actually get touched on that engage. Licorice and gone. That looks like Sticks ain't getting snipped. Well, wow, Demonte kind of griefed it. But Dude, Finn is such like a crazy need. Smurf player, actually. Oh my god, he's so good. Oh yeah. Yeah. G I think, this, I think CLG can end here. Call me crazy, Ooh. but... But so, what, what are we saying have about it. CLG being the worst team in LCS? <gasps> well, yeah, it looks like CLG is kind of smurfing. It looks like they might be the best team in LCS. Holy shit, CLG is so fucking goaded. Legends on the Rift. Their first dub in 10 years. Holy fuck, dude. Is Tanner the missing piece that CLG has been missing all along? Tanner if League of Legends time. is Avatar Demonte the Last Airbender, then Demonte is av the Avatar.